What's up everybody? Welcome to today's Daily Source with myself, Noah Hem, and Terrell. This is the show where I meditate and then I tap into my intuition. I give myself the guidance that I most need to hear. I share it with all of you. And at the end of the show, I ask myself a question to ponder, to put it into play and advice in my life. I really need to figure out a new intro. My resistance to doing the show these days is like, I don't want to do the intro. So, I don't know. We're going to have to switch things up soon here, but um, that's for me to figure out. Um, let's see what's coming through today. <laughs> what do I most need to hear for my highest good? For the highest good. I might just, I might just start the show, like, already tapped in and just go. I don't know, maybe you guys could comment and let me know if you think that'd be cool, if you think that'd be confusing for people, or you think they'll just, like, look at the other 140 episodes and figure it out. I, I would love to hear anyone's opinion on that. Um, Cool. What do I most need to hear for my highest good, for the highest good of all other beings involved? Getting a little talking to, it's like, <laughs> you can ask Source anything, so why are you confused? <laughs> okay, what else? The more you depend on God, the more dependable he becomes, or she, or it becomes. This is something your guru has told you, and you've experienced as a truth in your life, and today is a good time to be reminded of that, that no matter what, if you're tapping into in all earnestness and sincerity, if you're tapping into and sourcing to the best of your ability, your inner knowledge and wisdom, and the wisdom of your infinite self that you truly are, then regardless of the... of the... It's like the understood or the... the times when your ego will get in the way and you'll misinterpret things or not see them clearly, regardless of those times, those times will even be in alignment with your growth path. The times when you don't see clearly, you're actually, you're seeing perfectly clear for that moment. And so if you tap in with all sincerity to source your highest wisdom and be led from that point, the more you depend on God, the more dependable God becomes. The closer to you that you know this divine infinite source is, the and, and the more you embrace that infinitesimally close relationship, it's truly a oneness with you, the more you can depend on that space, the more you'll see evidence that shows how dependable that space can be. This is one of the catch-22s of faith. You have to have it in order to have it. You have to have the faith to depend on the guidance, to depend on the wisdom, to depend on your gut instinct, and then your faith will be shown to you and proven to you through the results that occur in the world around you. But it doesn't happen the other way around. You cannot, uh, you cannot be unfaithful and wait for some reason to sh have faith. You have to decide to have faith and then reasons to have that faith will be manifest in front of you. And it's all a deepening, a cycle of deepening, a cycle of deepening. Which is again why the more you depend on God, the more dependable it becomes. The more you depend on your source wisdom, the more dependable it becomes. The more dependable you become. It's also like a muscle. Faith is a muscle. Intuition is a muscle. These are all just helpful reminders. What else? Anything else? Think of more ways to share your wisdom and more fashions for it to be shared, whether that's um, through speaking or through your team or through your business or through your impact. Think of more ways to put your faith out into the world and to inspire faith in others. Okay. 
Anything else? Nope. Well, I guess that's my powerful question for today to ponder. What are more ways I can put my faith out into the world and inspire others? I'm sure that message is not just for me. So, as always, sending tons of love, tons of positivity, good energy your way, everybody. Have an amazing day. I'll see you again soon another Daily Source. Bye for now.